If you have a bunch of items and you want to keep track of those items, you would use a table. A table can store anything, which includes items, numbers, and players. Tables have functions. We can use these functions to change data in our table. We will be going over CRUD functions, which means to create, read, update, and delete values in our table. So this is how you create a table. You use two curly braces and you could put items in here, which is strings. You could put numbers in here as well, and you can put like objects. So like new and stuff like that. So we can put a part in here. Using this table, what we can do is we can read from the table. So if we use new table and we use indexing in tables. So if you don't give it a key, our index over here to get strings, we will put one. And that's how we would get our first value from here, from this table. That is how you read a table. So if we do print new table, you'll see over here, we make it will get us the value of strings. And to update a table, we just need to reference what value we're updating in this table. So if we say strings, where we want to update this strings value, we just put hello. So you put it equal signs, the value of the index that you want to change, and then the value you want. So we're going to put hello into the first item in our table. So if we say print new table one again, we're going to see that it's going to change to hello and it's not strings anymore. So this is how you delete from a table. What we want to do is we want to use the table class. And when we use the table class, we have all these functions. And to remove an item, we just use remove and you put the table that we want to delete an item from. So let's say we want to delete strings. We say remove at position number one. That's how you read it, this function. So when we print the new table again, what we're going to see is that this index is going to update to one and this index is going to update to two because we deleted this value. So when we read, you guys see that our index is one and our index is two. And that's how we deleted the first value from our table. Now let's use real world examples on how to use this table. We want to have two teams which has players in it. First, let's make two tables and these tables are named red team and blue team. Now let's get a table of all the players in our game. And how we would be doing that is we're going to use this service, which is the player service. And with the player service, we can just get the children of people in this players list. Now that we have a table of players, we're going to write a for loop that goes through all the players in this table. This get children is returning us a table of players. So this is going to give us player one, player two, player three. So what this is saying is we're running a loop for every player in this players table. If we want to get the index of the players, then we need to use i pairs and that will give us the index. So that will give us the number of all players of one. And then this will give us player one. And we can just put index in here because every time we go through this loop, the index is going to update to index plus one. So what does that mean? That means if index equals one, it's going to go index equals two and so on and so forth. It's going to go up until we have all the players in this list. So I'm going to put a wait here because we need to wait until our player spawns into the game. And then this is how you read a player from the player's table. You can either reference the table itself and put the index, or what we can do is we can just say print player. And that's how you get the value of the player. So we're going to see our name two times print out. And this first one comes from this one. Second one comes from this one. That's how you read from a table as well. So how we would put the player in the red team and blue team, what we're going to do is we're going to check if index module two equals zero. That means if we're at the first player, index one module two is not going to be equal to zero. It's going to equal one. So one module two is going to equal to one. And what is not going to equal to zero? So then that means we can put it in the red team. But honestly, we don't want to, to do this you don't want to use indexing to put a player in a table. What we want to use is table.insert. And this val this is going to insert at our first value out of our table, our player. So we, we just need to give it a players table, which is red team. And we're going to put it at a first value. Because if we do this, right, it's going to go from like one, three, five, seven. And we don't want to like, you know, skip a value. This is how we would put a player on a table. If you want to put it 
in order. So if you want to put player one, player three, what we need to do is we need to say red team. And using this hashtag is the length of our table. So if we put one player in our table, if we put one player over here, our length of this table is going to be equal to one. So then we're going to insert it at one. And we need to plus one to it because if we didn't have a player in here, our table of our red team would be zero. And if we add one, then it's going to put it at index one. So our first value in this table, then it's going to go player three because we skip player two from this if statement and it puts player three in this table. So then else we are going to do, this is going to be two, four, six, and eight. So this is going to be the odd numbers and this is going to be the even numbers. So what we do here, we can still use this command because we still want to have our value go in order like one, two, three, four, five. That's what happens when we insert it at this index. So we have our red team and blue team. So if I just print red team here and then we print blue team here, what we're going to see is when we have four players in the server is that it's going to go through all the players in this players table. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to evenly distribute the teams to the players. So our red team has, oh, I, sorry. This actually has to be a value too. The player that we want is going to go here. So this is saying, get our table, put it in this index and put the player in that index. So that is what this is going to look like. So then we have our four players here. We're going to look in our server side that we have the odd team and the even team. By default, if you don't put an index position here, it's going to do this already. So it's going to do one, three, and itself again. So we can just put the players here. It's gonna have what we had last time, but I wanted to let you guys know that there was a way to like insert these values at a specific position on our table. So we're gonna see all the odd players in red team, all the even players in blue team. So here you go, red team and blue team.